This is Alim from Javelin. In this video, I will discuss the importance of selecting the right entities when defining features in SolidWorks Mechanical Conceptual. To make things more interesting, I'm going to try to avoid using the feature tree as much as possible. So, the first thing you might ask is, how can you even start sketching something on a plane that's hidden, that's not visible, if you don't want to use the feature tree? A quick way for doing that is to turn on the invisible space so this little arrow on the bottom right if selected will actually show all the hidden entities so they are accessible let's access the top plane and create a sketch on it switch back to the visible space let's start by uh, drawing a rectangle center rectangle and let's also add dimensions right now one thing I really like about mechanical conceptual is how easy, sh how easy it is to add dimensions if you select an entity, you will see the, a dormant dimension that's just a uh, driven dimension at this time. But if you select it, you can actually edit it. So let's say this is going to be a 100. Now this becomes a driving dimension. Let's do the same thing for the, the other one. I'm going to make this 60. And notice that the area inside the rectangle is shaded. That means I just created a sketch object. So as you can see here, my physical product has one sketch that contains this object. If I select this little arrow, I can drag it and I can say 30 millimeters worth of extrusion is going to be added to the sketch. One thing hopefully you notice is I extruded the object, not the sketch. And you're going to find out in a moment why that is important. If I did a sketch that defined this, this feature, and I add something to it, let's say a center circle. And I'm going to combine them together into a bigger sketch object. If I save this sketch, the extrusion does not change. Why? Because it extruded just the object, not the whole sketch. So if you want the sketch to be the source of information for your feature, you might want to tell the feature that explicitly. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to deactivate or dismiss this object. I'm not going to select it from the graphic area because what I'm selecting here is the uh, is the object, not the sketch. I'm going to select it this time from the feature tree and pretty much I told SOLIDWORKS I want the whole sketch to be extruded. Let's make this part more aesthetically pleasing and I'm going to carve a quarter circle around all these edges. So let's create another sketch on that face. Let's start with a circle. Another way of applying dimensions, you can just type the dimension before you actually select the point on the circumference of the circle. So let's say this is going to be 10 millimeters and this is fully defined. I can go directly to the swap feature right away and I don't really need a sketch for the path. I can select the edges one at a time in here. The problem with this is I'm st still not sure I, if I finish defining the overall shape of my base. And you know, if I change, add edges or remove of, of some of the existing edges, this feature is going to fail. So it makes sense instead of selecting an edge, select the biggest entity you have available, which in this case is the whole face. So it's just going to go around the face. If I change the face later on, this should update nicely. Uh, one thing that I really like about Mechanical Conceptual is the ability of turning a boss into a cut directly from the same dialog uh, that defines the feature. So I can do that. Now let's change the base feature. So I'm going to go here and edit the original sketch. And let's add uh, another circle on uh, maybe starting from the middle of this and make it 50. I'm just going to edit the original boolean body and uh, I'm going to add also this circle to, to that. Let's say this point is going to sit on on that line. Oh, actually what I'm missing it's it's a dimension. So let's add the dimension between maybe this edge and the center of this. This is going to be 50. 
So let's save the sketch. And as you can see, because the face has changed, the feature actually takes that in consideration and the cutout is nicely carved all around. I hope you like that. Thank you.